Hello YouTube. So this is my version of the E3D. Uh, technically, it's really the Chinese clone um, attached to the Da Vinci. And uh, this is the second print I've done with this head. Um, I jerry-rigged up this fan, this 33 millimeter fan, um, just to cool down enough where I can get a couple prints in. The print that I'm doing right now is a, it's a new fan shroud. Um, that'll hopefully sit farther back. Um, we'll see how it works out. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to like it or not. So, the difference between this version and what you see typically, um, what people typically do with the E3D on the Da Vinci, is that I actually did not move the stepper motor up. I left it in the exact same position that it was in. And... Um, one nice part about this is that I did not have to take apart my 3D printer. I did not have to remove this X carriage holder thing to remove the X carriage. So I could do everything in place, no drilling required. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, the only downfall is that I lost. I don't know, I lost, uh, I think, 28 millimeters in my Z-axis by doing it this method. Um, so that's a downfall. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, I got a very good prints out of it with ABS in a open, not closed, DaVinci printer. So hopefully I can tune it a little bit. This print's a little awkward right now because uh, it's giving me a lot of, uh, I'm gonna call them boogers. I get a lot of boogers on this print. I'm not sure if it's too hot or, or what? I'm gonna research that. 